Welcome to Academic Web Services Training. I am your host, David Pinter. And in this session, what we're going to be talking about is giving a little bit more impact to text in our EPUBs that have been converted from Word to a Calibre EPUB file. Now, what we have here is a pull quote. And this pull quote has the same size font as the rest of the paragraphs here. And what we want to do is we want to make it a little bit larger and give a little bit more padding here to the right and left side and maybe the top and the bottom. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some code. Well, what we have here is we have the special formatting for pull quotes and that has to do with the font size and it also has to do with the padding. So we have top right, bottom, and left sides. So, and these are all changeable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this code. Next, what we need to do is find out exactly where this is located in our CSS document. So I'm gonna select some of the text here and then scroll up and then notice that it says it's located in the block underscore six. So I'm going to go over here now to the style sheet. Let's try to find that block underscore six. So here it is right here, block six. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the bottom and notice that it already has a padding in there of zero, but we're going to change that. So what I want to do is I want to just select that and then paste it in. I'll hit tab a couple times over here to line it up with the other variables. So right now it looks like it did a pretty good job of indenting it into the left side. So that was the 20 pixels in from the left. So we want to make the font a little bit larger. So we have the font size here. I'm going to increase this to probably about a 1.4 EM. And that's making a little bit better impact right there. Another thing we may want to do is we notice that there's a spacing going on in between these sentences. So we want to close them up a little bit. In order to do that, we need to go over to the line height and change that to a one. There we go. So that makes it look a little bit tighter, a little bit more together. And what I want to do is I want to give it a little bit more padding uh, from the left side and the right side. So I'm going to go over here and let's say I'm going to give that a 30. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, maybe uh, 40 here. All right, and we're gonna go to the right side and do the same thing with a 40. So there you go, working with special characters and pull quotes inside of Calibre.